Hello everybody, I am Wiggle Burrito and I am back with another video. This week we're going to go over some good tips on how to dominate in co-op. That's the game mode you're watching right now. And although this is with Palpatine, it's just some great chain lightning gameplay. I actually am getting my Grievous really close to max level. I'm approaching 800 at the moment. So I think I have the right for some validity. Validity? And I've quickly realized this video could be misinterpreted as like how to like beat everyone in co-op. Yes, I realize it's all AI. That's not really what this video is. It's really dominate in a sense of get a ton of XP, which leads to levels, which leads to leveling up your heroes fast. And it's also not gonna focus on a specific hero. Like it's not just gonna focus on Grievous or Palpatine like you're watching right now. So rather than making 22 separate videos of how to dominate with this hero in co-op, how to dominate with this hero in co-op, it's just gonna be one video that doesn't really focus on a specific hero. So with that out of the way, I think it's time to get right into how to dominate in co-op. So the first out of the three sections we're gonna go over is spawn points. So what this one's about is, you guessed it, spawn points, but more specifically, how the spawn points work. So if you're unfamiliar, they don't just spawn continuously out of one hallway or like one spot on the map or behind this tree or whatever. So I'm on Jabba's Palace obviously right now, so this is the first spawn point on this objective, right up those stairs. So I'm going to clear all those guys out and I know exactly where the next spawn point is. And in this case it was the same exact one, so about 30 seconds later, they go up of the same steps and just chain lighting it again. So I think the best way to know where the spawn points are on any map in any era is just play those maps. And keep in mind, playing co-op is usually just for leveling up your hero to any certain level and a lot of people just think Oh, if you're not grinding him to max level, what are you even doing? No, it's not just max level. You could say, alright, I'm going to upgrade this hero to 100, or I'm going to get him to 500, or, and then eventually that'll lead to, alright, I'm finally going to push to max level. So it's different for everyone, but this video is just to help you get started on that, on that long process of grinding a hero to any level you want. Alright, now moving on to the second segment, that segment is multi-kill abilities, and more specifically, whatever hero you're using. So this video isn't specifically on one hero, so it's just in general, so let's just say, like Palpatine you're watching right now, his multi-kill ability, you probably already guessed it, is Chain Lightning. So if you have the hero you want to try to get to a high level, next you want to say, alright, what ability is going to get me the most kills, because obviously, more kills leads to more XP, which leads to more levels. So for example, if your hero is Vader, he actually has two abilities, choke and lightsaber throw, but mainly choke. If it's Grievous, it's obviously Claw Rush. If it's Finn, it's obviously Deadeye. If it's Anakin, it's just Anakin. So you wanna find out different things to do, whether it's just one ability or like a combo of abilities like Anakin. He has two abilities that'll get you the most multi-kills. You wanna find that out of whatever hero you're using. And that doesn't mean press only those two buttons or one button. Obviously play like normally, but try to favor your abilities you use to just those one or two abilities. So now we're gonna move on to the third segment and last segment, which is the best maps for XP. So if you've played Battlefront for any time longer than like a month, I think you'll know that Joppa's Palace, which is the map you're watching right now, is an absolute gold mine for XP. But the only bad part is, if your hero isn't in the Imperial Age, or the original trilogy age, you can't play on Joppa's Palace. The other really good map for XP is the MC-85 Star Cruiser, and if you don't know, that's in the sequel trilogy age. That map is insane for heroes like BB-8 and Chewbacca that have really good multi-kill abilities. But don't worry, it's fine if your hero isn't in the sequel trilogy or the original trilogy. I'm a Grievous main, it's fine. There's still some good maps in the Clone Wars. Some of those maps for light side and dark side is Naboo. It's just an all-around good map. It's really easy to get like a hundred plus kill streak. Not that the kill streak in co-op is important. It's just usually when you have a hundred plus kill streak, you have some pretty good XP. Another good map for both sides is the cloning facility on Kamino. A good map for just light side is Felucia. Dark side Felucia isn't great. And a map that's good for both sides too, mainly dark side, but it's still pretty decent on light side, is the Republic Attack Cruiser over Kamino. Now one thing that I don't think is big enough to put into its whole new segment, but I think it's still important enough to mention, is the best times to actually play co-op. So if you're unfamiliar, the triple XP days are Tuesday night, and not really night, it, it's like the later part of Tuesday and pretty much all of Wednesday until like 11 o'clock at night. So those are the prime times you want to be on grinding your hero. It's just so fun playing co-op when it's triple XP. You get like 15 kills and that's a whole level. But it's fine, if you can't find time to be on on Tuesday and Wednesday, there's still the double XP days, which is 
fr the end of Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. And if I'm being honest, you really don't want to even be playing anything other than Heroes vs. Villains and Co-op on Friday because it's reinforcement event, and we all know how fun that is. So that is going to be it for the video. It's a little shorter one, but I don't think I need to drag this out to a 10 minute video. It's not that much stuff. So as always, if you have any questions about anything I said in the video, feel free to leave a comment. And if you did enjoy or learned something, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already because it would help me out a lot and keeps me making these helpful videos for you guys. So I thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I am Wiggle Burrito and I will see you guys in the next one.